National Sleep Foundation, approximately 40 million people in the USA suffer from sleep disorders um, per year. Um, that's a lot of people in the US. So um, today I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of information on REM behavior disorder or um, sorry, <laughs> on REM behavior disorder. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of history, um, the symptoms, causes, and treatment for this disorder. Um, REM, for those of you who don't know, um, it's rapid eye movement. And so, REM behavior disorder is linked with neuro neurodegenerative disorders. So neurodegenerative disorders are a range of disorders that affect neurons in the brain um, that are basically the building blocks of our central nervous system. So um, the central nervous system is important to our everyday functioning, our brain and the spinal cord, we need all those things. Um, and the neurons in the brain, when they're affected negatively in this way, um, when the neurons in the brain are destroyed, you can't get those back. Um, and they can't be replaced. So in this disorder, from behavior disorder, it primarily affects older individuals. So males in their 60s and 70s, um, they make up a pretty significant amount of people who are affected by this in all the cases that are known of REM behavior disorder. Um, rapid eye movement disorder is very uncommon, and it only affects about 0.5% of the population. Um, so not only older males can be affected, but they are the primary um, people who are affected REM behavior um, disorder is very uncommon, however, it is a very serious disorder. But I'm going to play a quick, um, short clip, like a lighter situation of it, to give you an idea of what it's like. voluntarily paralyzed, so we aren't able to act out our dreams, such as you saw in the video. But for people with some behavior disorder, that part of the brain isn't functioning normally, so they are, their muscles aren't being voluntarily paralyzed anymore, and they're able to act out situations that they're dreaming. Um, like you saw in the video, this phenomenon does not occur in individuals um, are able to physically act out their dreams. Um, this is dangerous because um, good people who have this disorder potentially could harm themselves or people sleeping next to them or their bed partner. Um, according to the National Sleep Foundation, this, the first series of cases of REM behavior disorder were described in 1985 by Dr. Mark Mahal 
and Dr. Carlos Shank of the University of Minnesota. Um, and they wrote an article in the Principles and Practices of Sleep Medicine. And there they outlined a couple of cases that they saw throughout history of people with REM behavior disorder, mostly being older men. Um, the 77 year old minister, a 60 year old surgeon, and a 62 year old plant worker who was in the war. Um, they found that these people were usually good natured people during the daytime and they were kind and friendly, but um, at night they would have these dreams where they would act them out and um, they would become violent when they slept. So sleep is very important because it plays, it plays such a large role um, in our body's ability to repair itself and just for our health in general. At night when you're sleeping, is when the body repairs and rebuilds the tissue and also plays a large role in memory. Consequently, people with